Do you ever feel like you're scrambling last minute for content ideas? You're picking up your phone, it's the end of the day, you're tired, you worked all day, and you know you need to post on social media, but you just can't be bothered and don't have anything in place to easily post. That used to be me. <laughs> that can still be me sometimes when I don't have the proper plan in place. Over the last year, I've developed a strategy that's helped keep me on track and the clients that I work with. I'm really excited to dive in deep with you guys today and share all of my content creation secrets with you, starting with my content calendar in Trello. So today is not really a sitting down talking video today. We are gonna actually go behind the scenes and I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how I would set up a content calendar for the week. So let's go. So the first step, create a board in Trello. All right, so welcome to the tutorial portion of the video. So as you'll see, we are inside of Trello. Trello consists of all sorts of different boards. I have one that tracks my personal finances. I have one that tracks my social media. I make boards for my social media clients. I make boards to keep track of a web build process. So. So really it's super customizable and uh, I really love using it. I'm currently testing out a couple different ones. I've been looking at ClickUp, but I, I seem to keep gravitating towards Trello. So that's where we're at today. And I'm gonna show you how to create your own content calendar in Trello. So once you create your Trello account, if you don't already have one, and this is not sponsored by Trello in any means, if once you create your account, I'm gonna have you create a new board and it's gonna open up this for you. So the first thing I did was set a pretty pink backdrop, of course, but set a background that's going to, you know, just make you feel good when you come into it. Set your title up here. And now we're gonna go into actually creating the content calendar itself. So let's, we can use me as an example, it was a great one. So I have a social media marketing account. I specialize in providing tips and tricks uh, to small business owners to help them alleviate the stress of showing up consistently online. So whether that's showing, you know, strategies or behind the scenes or, you know, showcasing the new trends, whatever it may be, I'm trying to be the person, the go-to person for you online for that. Second step, Set your posting schedule. So on my schedule, so my content schedule, I post every single day, but let's reduce it a little bit for the purpose of this video. Let's say Monday through Friday. <clears throat> so I post, I'm gonna create a column for each day of the week. Third step. Create your content pillars. So the next thing I'd say to myself is, okay, well, what content pillar am I trying to hit on each day? So Monday, I would do an education. So this is me, you know, providing tips and tricks. Maybe it's providing trends. Maybe it's, you know, uh, Instagram has made a new announcement about a new feature. We've seen a lot of that lately. <clears throat> Tuesday's um, pillar could be something personal to build a connection. Wednesday's pillar could be something like um, entertainment. Thursday could be around providing could be about selling your offer what do sales <clears throat> so let's plan content out for a week these are just pillars you could adjust these to be anything you want so when thinking of your pillars go back to your goals so what are you trying to accomplish with your account throughout you know the month throughout the year what are you trying to convert so for me, I want to have an education pillar because I want to provide value to my audience. I want to give them a reason to follow me, subscribe to me, and keep showing up. Tuesday, having a personal pillar is, you know, for the purpose of connection. Usually with my clients, we do this in form of a live stream um, just because it gives you a chance to do something that's, 
you know, not so curated and, uh, you know, perfect. It just gives you a chance to show your authentic self. Um, if you don't want to do a live stream, you could, you know, create a personal post, something relatable, share a fact about yourself. Uh, Wednesday entertainment. I think every business and company should have an entertainment pillar, especially in 2022. Just with things with short form video, TikToks, it's really easy to, you know, jump on a trend, a little audio bit and spin it and make it your own. Um, so I think that's important in bringing new eyes to your account. Thursday value. So this could go right back to education because that's providing value as well. But maybe in my case, I'm providing trends and stuff like that. So maybe that's the day where I actually provide some more value. Friday sales. If you're trying to, you know, convert and sell, you need to talk about your offer. So maybe on Fridays is when we make a post around hiring a social media manager or how it alleviates the stress or something around those lines. So let's plan one weeks of content just so you can kind of I understand how I go about things. Um, and then you can kind of adjust this yourself for the full month. And this isn't my actual content calendar. This is just something mock that we're doing for this video. So the first thing I would do is come in and, oh, actually, you know what, lie. First thing I would do is actually set so we have our dates, we have our content pillars, but what medium is this content going to be? So is it going to be a short form video? Is it going to be a carousel? Is it, you know, a carousel and a blog post? So what do we have here? So for me, usually my larger education piece, <clears throat> Fourth step is establish mediums to each pillar. On Mondays, I like to do a reel. Reel slash TikTok, short form video. That's just what fits in there well for me and I know what it is. So we're gonna put that there. On Tuesdays, if I'm doing like a personal connection based post, I'd recommend either doing a live or doing like a static post where you have a nice written caption. Wednesday, like we were talking about, entertainment is easiest when you just jump on a little trend and make it your own. Thursday, so we already did a value-based post earlier in the week, which was in video format. So I like to have a written value piece of content that goes out throughout the month, or throughout the week, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're doing, only doing a week. Um, so this I would do as a carousel. Thursday, we're gonna do a carousel post just to break down some information. And this can also be a blog post. And Friday, we'll do another short form video. So now I know the days of the week I'm gonna post. I know generally what the subject or what the goal of that post is going to be. And I know the format of that. So when I go to batch shoot my content um, over the weekend, I know that I need three videos. I know that I need to either prepare your show notes for a live stream or I need to prepare a static post. And I also know that I need to write a longer form of content for my carousel and blog post. So that kind of gives you the idea of how things are laid out. But then we also go one step further. Your fifth step is create a weekly theme. So something that I find easy to do is to set a weekly theme. You could even do a monthly theme, but I think it's easy to do a weekly one. So let's say my theme of the week is showing up confidently on camera. I'm going to kick off and I'm going to teach this way more in a course that I have coming up in the spring. Um, but we're just going to break it down a little bit here. So let's say the first video that I'm going to put out this week is going to be about showing up confidently on camera. And maybe it's like three or four quick little tips to do that. So quick tips, how to show up confidently. You can set dates in here. Um, so let's say this is for tomorrow. I usually post in the evenings because that's when everyone is online and I hit save. And then I can come back to that afterwards and fill in like the caption and put in my 
photo if there's one or put a little link to the sound on TikTok that I want to use, whatever it may be. Uh, Tuesday, let's say I'm going to do a live. Let's say it's a live with special guest, ba da da da, and our topic is something about showing up confidently. So, uh, being confident online. So Wednesday is an entertainment pillar where you can kind of get funny with it. So you kind of want to stay on the same subject, but at the same time you want to bring the new eyes and new audience to it. So I would do something about like being too nervous to show up on camera. And make it funny. This is where you would actually break down your blog post. So the blog that you write, usually when I write a blog, I'll, you know, obviously have an introduction and stuff like that, but I'll have like a main point and then write down like a paragraph or two underneath it. And I have a couple of those throughout the blog. So that's easily broken into a carousel post. So literally how to show up confidently on camera would be my blog post. And then I would break that down into a carousel. So yes, we've already talked about it earlier in the week in several different ways, but now we're showing up in a written format for that. And then Friday to close everything up, I would, if I had, let's say I have an online product or maybe I have a YouTube video that shows you how to be more confident online. Maybe my post is a reel directing you to that YouTube video to get more information. So video directing you to YouTube video. So that's just a rough idea of how I would come up with those ideas. Throughout the month, I am going and scrolling throughout TikTok and Instagram and I'm saving trending audios. If I find an audio that I think will work well with one of these ideas, I'm able to batch shoot all of these. So from here, what I would do is go and find the audio that I want for the reels and I would put the links. Once you open one of these, you can put the link in here. So when you go to batch shoot, you have everything directly there. You can write your little idea underneath. I like this sound and I want to do this spin on it. You can put that in there. Where it says cover is usually where I will attach. Like this was a cover for a reel I recently put up. I'll put that in there. <laughs> and then in the description or the activity, I'll actually write out the caption and get that pre-ready for there as well. I do this for myself on a monthly basis and I tweak it throughout the month. I also do it for my clients and they have access to it throughout the month so they can see what's going up and when. Okay, so that was a heavy video and I don't want to make it any longer. I hope you guys found some value in that. I hope you go and try out Trello. It's free for the first like 10 boards so you can absolutely go and try this for yourselves today. How do you create your content for social media? And how do you plan your content for social media? Do you do it week by week? Do you do it months in advance? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If there's anything else, I can teach you, please don't hesitate to leave questions in the comments below. I hope you like this video and subscribe if you want more just like it, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.